extensions are essentially like add-ons and you can use these add-ons to increase the functionality of your website to add new tools to your website and new abilities for your users to use and new things for you to control your website all kinds of stuff and it's a really powerful part of Joomla um, I've got my test site here there's my test site my front end of my test site and then I'm here at the back end the administrative back end of my test site I'm running this locally using WAMP server 2.0 I'm running Apache web server uh, PHP and MySQL locally here um, okay so uh, what are our extensions um, well the number one extension the most powerful extensions are components you can see here are the default components that come installed with Joomla alright and we've talked about components a little bit and uh, here are the default ones that come with Joomla these six plus the front page manager which is also a component and then the other extensions are modules which you can manage here plugins which you manage here your templates which you manage here and language packs which you manage here now to install components modules plugins templates and languages you go to this tab right here install and uninstall this is where you can install all of those extensions and this is also where you can uninstall all those extensions okay so um, and like I've said, uh, these some extensions come built into Joomla, but then you can also download extensions. And if you go to, let's see here, Joomla.org, you will find lots of extensions. So I'm going to Joomla.org right now. If I click on extensions, it'll take me to a page with all the different extensions that have been posted at the Joomla website that you can download and install. So my my web browser here is a little bit slow, but uh, as soon as it crawls over there, we'll get rolling here. All right. I also have this open, let's see, in Firefox. So um, here are, let's see if we can get it going here. Maybe it's cached over here too, possibly. No such luck. Okay. One of the extensions that I'm going to recommend to you while I'm waiting for this to download, maybe my internet connection has gone down, um, is this one right here called Explorer or Explorer. Um, it's an editor's pick. It's very popular, right? Um, if you once you click on extensions, you'll get to a page, and you can scroll down here. And you can go to editors picks of the, I don't know, the editors of Joomla's website here, the extensions that they like the best, and um, or that they recommend. And ext Explorer is one of them. And you can see here Joomla 1.5. Well, we're running Joomla 1.5, so this is what we want to download. So you'll click on download, and it'll take you to a page like this. And when you get to this page. You want to download ext Explorer, not Joomla Explorer. This top version right here is for uh, Joomla 1.0. and This bottom version here is for Joomla 1.5. And the one I downloaded was this one right here, com underscore Explorer. I just clicked on it and saved it to wherever my downloads folder, or, uh, wherever I saved it to. Okay, so this is what you want right here. You just click right there com for component underscore explore 2.1.0 uh, version b5 dot zip okay this is the the latest beta version all right and once you get it downloaded what you're going to do is you'll go to extensions install uninstall and when you get to the extension manager you want the install tab which is the default right and we're going to upload the package file so I'll click on browse and I'll browse for where I have it let's see here there it is and all I have to do now is click upload file and install and this should upload the zipped file and install it for me automatically and that's all I have to do it should be configured it should be registered in the Joomla database uh, database entries in MySQL should all happen automatically 
and this extension should work. So we'll just give it a second here and see what happens. Um, Internet Explorer 8 has been giving me a little bit of a headache tonight, but uh, that happens sometimes. Um, okay, Extension Manager, we can see here Install Component Success, that worked, right? And we get a message here from EXT Explorer that it, it successfully installed. If I wanted to uninstall it right off the bat, let's say I say, oh, I installed it, but now I want to uninstall it. You would click on Components, because it is a component that we installed, and there it is, you look for it. You can scroll through all the installed components here, and you find it right there. You would just select it, and then you would click Uninstall here, and that would uninstall that component. But I don't want to do that. I want to keep it going. Now, you might find, now that you have it installed, um, if you want to go take a look at it, you just go to Components, Explore. Now, when you do it in um, Internet Explorer 8 on Vista, there's some file permission problems or some Internet Explorer issues, and it just errors out on me. Maybe it will work for you. Maybe it won't. Um, I'm having a really hard time with it. So I opened up Firefox, and sure enough, in Firefox, if I went to the same administrative page on my website, I can go to Components. Uh, let me refresh this window. See if it shows up in here. Okay, Components, there it is. It's now installed. There's our new component. If I click on it, for some reason, Firefox is able to load it. And um, whereas Internet Explorer is not able to. Now remember, this is happening locally on this computer, so I've had no problems with it on my web servers that I have, but uh, locally this is kind of odd that it's giving me a hard time. Now, what's neat about this is now I can see, you see there's my test website and there's my test2 website. I can see all of the directories, right? I can click on this and see all of the, the um, directories, the folders, and the file permissions for all of the files on my um, uh, on my website right and if I needed to change something like I needed to change for instance the configuration.php file I could do it from right here from the administrative side of my website I'm still in my test website if I want to go back to Joomla I just click here back to Joomla right and I go back now once again I could not tonight I could not get this to work on um, Internet Explorer 8 so I just the rest of the site works on the administrative side, but just not the um, Explorer. So Firefox, though, seems to have no problem with it. So I just used Firefox to play with it. Now, this is important because this is a nice tool. Because if I wanted to mess with the files on my site, now remember, your website, if you go to your www directory, your Joomla website, here I've got two Joomla websites in my web server test and test2. It's a folder, a directory, and inside there basically is your entire Joomla site, right? And you'll see there's all these folders. Administrator, cache, components. We just installed that component, by the way, and it goes into this folder, components. You'll see there's an Explorer um, folder in there. And it also goes into the administrative side. The, the back end also has a components folder, and you'll find Explorer in there as well. But beyond that, you see that there's just all these things. You notice this images folder right here? Well, in Joomla, from the back end, if you want to manage those files, you can only have access to the media manager by default. And in the media manager, basically, you're in the images folder. You can see here that that is the images folder, and you can use it to upload videos or movies or uh, JPEGs, images, whatever but you can't manage the rest of your files. It's not a big deal, because in WAMP server locally, I can just get to my WW directory really quickly, and I can have access to all of the files in my Joomla site. But what if you're working on a shared web host, and your web server is in San Francisco, and you only have limited access to it because it's not your web host, and somebody's given you access to a folder, but you can't change the files? Well, now you can, from the back end of um, Joomla, 
all you have to do is go to extplorer or explorer 